boy. So last time we had an unexpected rain. It was like around this okay. time in the evening. Oh yeah. There's a window I have opened. I'll never let it close. Hey guys, Magnet here. So myself, Punisher, and Soft Serve, uh, two of my friends from the Arizona Trail, are on the South Shore or the South Coast Wilderness at Olympia National Park in Washington. Uh, we came up here to try to do, well, I'm gonna spend a, a week, so we're just trying to do whatever we can do in a, in a week. So we've chosen these kind of like wilderness coastal hikes, which is super unique. I was really interested in it, those because it's very rare to find a, an actual wilderness on the coast. There, there's not many on the West Coast of the United States. I've never done one, so this is really cool for me. Totally different kind of backpacking. You don't do you don't do huge miles at all during the day. You have to factor in tides and walking on sand and headlands. You have to climb with ropes and descend with ropes. It's super, super interesting. A um, lot more logistics. We have to carry bear cans, um, but it's it is it's an actual wilderness on the beach, and it's so cool to see. So this South Shore Wilderness hike that we're doing first is 17 miles. Um, because you're not doing big miles during the, any of the days, really you can't because the tides won't let you. Uh, we're just doing it in two nights and like a day and a half of hiking. So pretty chill, lots of time to check out tide pools and just look at all the interesting things along the way. Really, really enjoyed myself. So after this South Shore one, we'll go up to the North Shore and do kind of the same thing. It's a little longer there. But I just want to see all this I can. I mean, this is the neatest thing to have an entire beach like you can see for miles. And there's no one here. No one here except us. I've never had an experience like that before. National Park from Sand Point down to La Push or Rialto Beach. The south coast was amazing. It's gonna be really really tough to beat that. Uh, this one is more popular. There's definitely more people and initially it's still really cool. My initial thought is that it's not quite as quite as cool as that south coast was but this one is more popular so let's see. Let's see there's probably a reason for that. Uh, we're just our first day in here and not even a full day, so I'll give it a little time, but uh, so we're camped at uh, Sandpoint South Campground tonight. It's kind of in a cove and uh, there's not much in the way of sea stacks here, but we'll see. The rangers said there was a bear out at Sandpoint that's there frequently, so I'm 
just went up to the sand point to try to see if I could find it. <laughs> you still have to be very conscious of the tides on this run. Uh, the only main difference between this one and the south one is the south one had a lot of headland walking up on the bluffs. This one has pretty much none. It's entirely a beach walk. So we got our tide tables and we're just going to watch watch the tides for like, you know, a four, four to five hour window of low tide when we can walk through a lot of these tight areas on the beach. So tomorrow, uh, I don't know, seven or eight mile day down the beach and we'll be at camp plenty early to hang out here. It's supposed to be really pretty down that way. So check it out. Today we saw some crazy stuff. We were coming around the point southbound. Uh, we came through. I can't remember the name of the point, but we hit these tide pools, and we were just—they were the coolest tide pools. It was like just what I imagined I wanted to see: sea urchins and starfish and sea anemones. And they were all just like dense in these pools with this this super cool like misty fog. And I got my polarizer on my camera so I could cut the glare and I was shooting kind of like, you know, people and the mist in the trees over these really cool tide pools. And then out of the fog comes a male and female deer. And uh, soft serves like, when was the last time you guys saw deer on the beach? Something like that. And I'm like, what is she talking about last time I saw deer? And I looked up and I'm like, oh my gosh. And they were just coming right right to us.